Oh, oh, oh. What a beautiful Thursday it is, right? Hey, everybody. How you guys doing today? I hope you guys are ready. You know why? Because we're going to have a good time today. My name is Dave Showa, in case you didn't know. Good to see you guys. And by see you, I mean see you in the comment section. I'm looking at you guys in the comments right now. And look, Dolphin Girl says, ah, relaxing, listening to some country music, waiting for the game to start. Yeehaw! Who are you listening to? I hope you're listening to. I like Little Big Town, uh, Marin Morris. I love Marin Morris, Rascal Flats. Are you listening to any of them? Because I want to know. Honestly, I do. I do. I do. Also, hey, Owls, Owls, LZZ says, hope you all have a good weekend, which is nice. And then we have we have Goblin. We have a lot of you guys on here. So thank you guys for being here today. We're going to have fun. Now, you guys know I like to look up the national days because, like, there's so many random national days, you know. Today's national. What's today? Oh, wait. Oh, I don't see the. Is there no? Oh, National Pluto Day, National Cabbage Day. National Random Acts of Kindness Day. That's my favorite one right there. Today's National Random Acts of Kindness. So make sure you do something nice for somebody. You know, whatever that may be for you. I don't know. But maybe you can do something nice. That would be great. Like, for example, send this game to all your friends and be like, oh, my gosh, you guys. The best thing in the world. Let's go. You know what I mean? Anyways, today's the Thursday game. We're going to have a great time. And I hope you guys have fun with me. Let's, let me look, look at a few more of you guys in the chat section. Let's see what you guys are saying. Who else is here? We have, hmm, <laughs> oh, Jordan. It's Jordan's birthday today. Hey, Jordan. You guys, you heard that? My bad. Hey, Jordan. How's it going? I hope you have a good birthday. We have Solomon. Hey, Solomon. And Mark Cano from Canada. So all I got to say to you guys is make sure that you get ready for a challenge because, you guys, it's the Thursday edition of Swagbucks Live. The mobile game show where you win money from what the comfort of your phone now you guys the game is tough but you're smart so this would be a piece of cake for you you know what i'm saying look at this you guys here's a look at today's big grand prize Ooh, does that not look amazing that is twenty five hundred dollars everybody and every one of you guys who can correctly answer these 10 multiple questions will split it yes that's how it works everyone now we also have bonus SB for you also. So after question number one, you'll receive one SB for every single question that you do get right, even if you've already been eliminated. Now listen up. If you're eliminated from grand prize contention, you'll need to claim your bonus SB at the end of the game in order to keep them. And you look, that's as simple as clicking a button that appears at the end of the game. Now if you win the game, your bonus is claimed automatically. You know why? Just because it's kind of like a little extra... Hurrah, hooray for you. You know what I mean? So, you guys ready for the game? Now, you guys know the deal. And it's time for the game to officially begin. So, look. I'm going to say see you later to those comments. All right? And here is question number one. Let's get to it. What candy bar is sold in pairs? Nestle Crunch, Clock Bar, or Twix? What candy bar is sold in pairs? Something tells me that the majority of you guys are going to get this one right. But let's see. Now, look, you guys, they may try to sell us on some big feud between the people who make the right bar and the people who make the left bar. But we all know that both Twix bars are the same. Twix is the correct answer. Ooh, 19,422 of you guys got the one right. And you knew that it was Twix. All right. Twix all day, every day. I love Twix. It actually reminds me of my mom. My mom loves Twix. So shout out to you, mom. Hi. Uh we only have 11% of you guys who didn't get that one right, but of course you guys are already rejoining. You guys are doing what you need to do. So let's move on to the next question, which is worth one bonus SB. Question number two. What U.S. city is known as Beantown? Baltimore, Nashville, or Boston? Baltimore, Nashville, or Boston? The city is known as Beantown. Hmm. Well, you guys, thanks to Baked Beans, being created and perfected there. Good old fashioned word of mouth turned Boston into what? Bean Town. And again, you guys are impressive. 21,257 of you got that one right. And you knew that Boston, Boston was Bean Town. I apologize. I don't have a good Boston accent. I'm, I'm from Boston. I don't know if that's good enough. Anyone from Boston? My apologies. All right. 7% uh, got that one wrong, but you guys are still doing well. Let's move on to the next question, which is worth one bonus SB. Question number three. Who was the Greek goddess of wisdom and war? Aphrodite, Athena, or Artemis? 
Aphrodite, Athena, or Artemis, the Greek goddess of wisdom and war. Man, you guys, she was brought into the world the conventional way, you know, by growing in her father's skull until Hephaestus cracked it open with a hammer and out came Athena. Wow. Athena was born pretty much how most of us are born, right? Mm, very interesting. 18,417 of you guys got that one right and you knew that it was Athena. But I got to say, this question by far is the one that most of you guys have gotten wrong so far. 17% of you guys either chose Aphrodite or Artemis. So take like five seconds to rejoin right now, okay? Over 2,800 of you guys have rejoined. You guys are doing great. Let's keep it up. We still have seven questions to go. Let's move on to the next question worth one bonus SB. Question four. According to America's Test Kitchen, what food can't be overcooked? Celery, mushrooms, or ostrich meat? What food can't be overcooked? Celery, mushrooms, or ostrich meat? Now, because of their heat-stable composition, they've actually got the water retention of vegetables and the savory flavor of meat, which means that your mushrooms cannot be overcooked, you guys. Mushrooms is the correct answer. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Wow, I got to say, you guys, 12,299 of you guys got that one right. But, but 41.1% of you, 8,594 of you guys got that one wrong. Uh, after mushrooms, the majority of you guys thought it was celery, but it's actually mushrooms. They can't be overcooked, apparently. Uh, yeah, so you guys rejoin. Let's move on to the next question. Hope you guys are having fun. We're halfway there. Question five worth one bonus SB. How many people survived the Titanic? 706, 1171, or 1432? How many people survived the Titanic? So the majority of those saved were women and children, since they were the first to board the lifeboats. And of the 2,000 people on the Titanic, whew, only 706 people survived, which is actually very sad. Wow. But, you know, uh, 13,716 of you guys got that one right, and you knew that it was 706 people who survived. Yes. Now, let me tell you something. If you haven't seen the movie Titanic, it is long, but it is a good movie. And from the looks of it, some of you guys may not have seen it. So go watch the movie again, and uh, you will re-up yourself. You may be a little mad at the end, though. That's all I'm going to say. Moving on to the next question worth one bonus SB. Here's question six. Which fast food chain serves the Baconator? McDonald's, Burger King, or Wendy's? Which fast food chain serves the Baconator? McDonald's, Burger King, or Wendy's? So, if you thought that your fast food sandwiches didn't have enough bacon on them, then listen up, you guys. This double cheeseburger loaded with bacon is just for you. And I got to say thank you so much to Wendy's. Wendy's knew what it was. Wendy said, uh, we're going to add as much bacon as possible. Wendy's is the correct answer. 12,952 of you guys got the one right. 88% of you guys. And you knew that it was Wendy's, all right? Now, uh, second place was Burger King. You guys thought it was Burger King. Some of you, but no, it was Wendy's. Moving on to the next question, worth one bonus SB. Here's question number seven. What U.S. airport is the subject of conspiracy theories, including an underground government headquarters? LaGuardia, Denver International, or LAX? All right, you guys. So if you've ever have a little time to waste, Spend it reading articles and forum threads about the Denver International Airport and all of the conspiracy theories around it. You heard what I said, didn't you? The Denver International Airport. Yes, you guys, that was the correcto and sir, huh? The Denver International Airport. Wow, you guys did a great job. Great job, actually. Oh, wait. Whoa, wait a minute. You guys, I read the wrong thing. I'm not going to lie. My screen was tripping. I thought you did a great job, but I see that actually 82% of you guys, 82% of you guys got that one wrong. Wow, my heart is hurting for you, but it's okay because it happens. Over 600 of you have rejoined. Let's move on to the next question. I believe in you for the next one. All right, worth one bonus SB. Here's question number eight. Which of the following words comes from the old French for scrap? Escrow? Shrapnel or snippet? Escrow, shrapnel, or snippet? All 
All right, you guys. So, shrapnel seems like it would be the answer, but in old French, the word for scrap was escrow, which morphed slightly into the escrow that we use today. Escrow's the answer, you guys. Escrow. Now, a lot of you guys know escrow, right? Escrow is like when you, you know, you got buying a house, all that stuff. And 7,611, you guys got that one right. You guys are doing amazing. Congratulations, everybody. Congratulations. We have one more question before the finale. So let's get to question number nine with one bonus SB. What TV show took place on a cruise ship? Taxi, Hill Street Blues, or The Love Boat? Taxi, Hill Street Blues, or The Love Boat? Ooh. Now, you guys, each week, your favorite celebrities boarded the Pacific Princess looking for adventure. And each week, they found love on what? The Love Boats. And 99.7% of you guys, 9,392 of you guys have made it this far. And you, my friends, are ready for our final question. Hey, congratulations, everybody. Now, listen up to this. I have a very exciting news. In just one week... We're going to hold the biggest game in Swagbucks Live history, everybody. We've got $50,000 on the line. You heard me correctly, $50,000. That's a $5 million prize pool. Plus, we'll have bonus SB on every question and three free rejoins just for playing. Now, it all goes down at 8 p.m. Eastern Time, 5 p.m. Pacific Time on February 24th, you guys. Please make sure you're there. Listen, 5 million SB prize pool. Come on, you don't wanna miss that. $50,000, come on. You guys make sure to be here, all right? Also, you wanna make sure you update your Swagbucks Live app to version 1.67 after today's game because we have an exciting new feature. We'll be adding Swagbucks Live exclusive codes in games and you'll actually be able to redeem them just by clicking a button that appears on your screen at the end of the game. So our very first code will be in tomorrow's game, which starts at 3 p.m. Eastern time, 12 p.m. Pacific time tomorrow, and it'll be worth, what, 5SB, you guys. So again, you need to have at least version 1.6.7 installed to see and redeem in-game exclusive codes. We have a lot, of, a lot of good stuff going on, you guys. You know what I mean? And the last amazing thing we have going on for today is this look at this public all right public makes the stock market social you guys follow other investors discover companies to believe in and invest with any amount of money plus earn 5000 sb after you deposit five dollars or more okay and public will give you an additional five dollars worth of stock you guys that's fifty dollars in paypal cash or free gift cards plus five dollars when you deposit five dollars now look if you ask me that's a great deal now, you got to be a U.S. player to take advantage of this opportunity. So make sure to check it out after the game. All right. You guys, I was a mouthful, wasn't it? But it's all very important things. So I hope you guys are ready for the final question. I am. So let's get to it. Question 10 worth what? One bonus SB. If you're afraid of flying, what fear do you have? Aerophobia, tristratocophobia, or arachnophobia? Aerophobia. Tristratocophobia or arachnophobia. Now, for some people, being able to fly is a dream. But for people who are suffering from aerophobia, that dream is a sweaty nightmare. You guys, that had to be the answer. There was a plane flying over my house as I said it. Aerophobia is the correct answer. 9,231 of you guys got that one right. And guess what? You're splitting our grand prize. Congratulations, everybody. Congratulations to all of you guys who are splitting the prize today. I'm very excited for you. Ooh. Hey, Pashvan Nari Balish. Hello, RK7698833. I'm shocked, but I got that one right. Congratulations to all of you guys. We have GJNJ1987. All of you guys are amazing, and you guys all have won a portion of our prize, all 9,231 of you. So now that you guys all have these new SB in your account, you already know what you got to do with them, right? Redeem them for PayPal cash or gift cards to Amazon, to Stargate, not Stargate, I said Stargate, to Starbucks and Target. I put them together. I guess there are Stargates because they have Starbucks and Target. So there you go. And there's hundreds of other places you can redeem these points. So again, you guys, great job all week long. Make sure to come back early tomorrow for our Friday Flash game. Nathan's going to be here. Thank you guys so much for playing Swagbooks Live. And guess what? We'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Oh.